Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of European Resellers for Common Sense Polish Union. Let's hop back into it, shall we? In the last episode, I really can't remember what happened because it was a long time since I played some uh, Polish Union, um, which means I, I probably just played a lot of it and recorded a lot of it because I was binge playing EU4 probably, but anyway, that is besides the point. Let's hop back into it and hopefully I can gather my thoughts and play some more uh, EU4. Yeah, I'll pause here. Uh, looks like we just ended a war with. My assumption would probably be Bohemia because I took some land here. I'm still trying to core it. It's very high base tax too, let me see. A very, a very high base tax, especially Prague. What's my aggressive expansion? Basically nothing, even though I took land from ZHRE. Sorry if you hear vibrating in the background, that is my phone. I'll try to put it somewhere else so that you don't hear that much vibrating. And yeah, just looks like I was planning to send my armies back out east. Oh damn, I have a large army. Damn. Okay, and I left two armies here to deal with rebellions just in case the rebellions do happen which I guess is a good idea. We have a truce with you until 1719, so that's 10 years. I am not going to do a lot for territory. I'm going to recall the guy from Tunis. Austria still likes me. We are allies with Austria. I think at some point, oh, whoops, I got to open up all these tabs. Um, someone in the comments asked me if I was going to uh, vassalize, not vassalize, make Austria my uh, PU under me. If uh, the chance arises, and most likely, probably, but I doubt that's ever gonna happen, because Austria like has like fifty percent to their air chance, which means it's gonna be very difficult for me to force my uh, to force my control over uh, Austria here. But uh, we can always try. We can try. Um, are we allied with you? Yes, we are. We should probably improve relations with you too. Nice. Okay. Okay. Do I have claims on? Yes, I already have claims on you. By the way, do we have imperialism? Yes, we already have the imperialism. Cassis Belli, and we can make client states. Do I want to? Eh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe at some point. Um. Okay. I'm very happy with this. What are my ideas? Okay, at some point I took administrative, which is very nice because that gives me core creation cost reduction, which is very nice, simply. Um, okay, I need to start coring these provinces. That fucking plus 50% to check nationalism is quite a bitch. So we're gonna be at peace for quite a while, which kind of sucks, but hey, what can you do? Uh, absolutely nothing at times. For that province, uh, Austria. I don't know why Austria thinks that they're strong enough to demand for us to transfer trade to them. More likely, it should be that they should transfer trade to us. Yes, thank you. That's how it should be. You're basically my satellite state, to be honest. Um, yes, this is my opinion of it. Here we have plus 90. Let me recall you from there. Let me improve relations with like, I don't know, gallery. Oh no, let's improve relations with uh, Burgundy here, which would be a very nice. We are losing some money, which kind of, oh no, we make plus two. It's not as good as it can be, but it's plus two. We do have like a ton of negative modifiers for to our taxation so that kind of explains why we are making shit in the money sweat away okay our advisor died let's hire a level one guy nice make 10 points in administrative which top very top we call the guy from great britain gets improved relations with persia don't really want to go to war Persia anytime soon or is the Ottomans. By the way, talking about the Ottomans, who has the uh, largest army? Me, then Ming, then the Ottomans. Okay, 
And I could have a much larger army too. Damn. Also, oh, Ming. You are on tech 23, so you're nothing to ignore. Okay, that kind of sucks. Let's convert more land. A ton of this land has to become a uh, Kiaflik. Kiaflik, Kiaflik. Okay. Looks like nothing really wants to revolt over here. Oh, never mind this one, that one. Yeah, there's some revolt risk. A bit of revolt risk. But that should be fine. 30 Diplo points, I really don't care about the Ottomans, to be honest. The Ottoman Empire. How much development is this fucking province that it costs so much? It's fucking 31 development. Damn. What is our accepted cultures? That has to be Czech, right? Oh, Czech is in the same primary culture group, which is... That's fine. That is good, I still get a good amount of money for them being in the same culture group. We are... Four years ahead. Should I get an idea? Uh, I'm gonna get the tech or save up for save up points uh, for a new technology. Our power projection is not that much because I'm really not even paying attention to it for the most part. It's just there, to be honest. Um, why do we have like forty thousand troops up here? Is there any revolt risk? Over here? Not really. Okay. It's not like I'm gonna go to our Scandinavia anytime soon, I think at least. <sighs> I wonder if you didn't have this heir. Who would, uh. I'm hoping I would be the one that succeeds to his throne, but you never know. Okay. Should I send these troops out east? I mean, I want to eat the rest of the Uzbeks and then probably start eating Ming. <laughs> probably what I want to do, most likely. Core 2 Province is nice. I still have to core this one before I can start saving up points for tech, which kind of sucks, but, uh, but what can you do, right? I have one army here to deal with this rebellion. Army, and then there's armies over here, of course, to deal with the other rebellions. Okay. Nobody here that I can really get their throne, so I'm not gonna really marry any of those guys. Uh, we only have two out of five relations. Probably should get another solid relationship. Um, none of these guys are really uh, that appealing. App appealing? What the fuck am I trying to say? Let me fabricate some claims with my free diplomats. What's your most developed province? Okay. Post, postam? Postam? Postadam? Postam? I, am, I used to do apologize for pronouncing that uh, very incorrectly. So, Postam. Postam. I assume it's pronounced Postam. But then again, I have no fucking idea. So, there you go. Um kind of sucks when there's a lot of waiting in these episodes like waiting for tech waiting for like coring and that type of stuff um oh my god hopefully you don't hear the fucking fridge in the background starting to kick up or the mini fridge jesus christ anytime i have the computer on it's like it's trying to both take energy from well that's what it's doing because it's uh, connected to our power strip it's trying to take energy from the same power strip and i don't know it's just not enough, apparently, and the fridge starts to make, make noise, and I'm just like, okay, that kind of sucks, but, uh, yeah. Let's recall the guy from Burgundy, recall the guy from Persia, we got, uh, imperialism on the country. Should I start to attack into the Indian areas? Why are you allied with this guy? know something i may as well want to attack into this area and to get into india right but you're allied with the ottomans of course because you want to be difficult let me fabricate a claim on you and i'll come up with a plan of attack okay very nice we're up to a thousand ducats which is good but our inflation is increasing which does uh, kind of suck. Okay, we lost a claim. 
the last queen of conquest on the ottoman empire we do got conquest on brandenburg let me fabricate more claims what is this There's only 16 this is 24 stenton i think is like 29 yes it is i want to claim on stenton stenton yes because i'm assuming at some point scandinavia is going to declare one brandenburg and uh, he's going to call me in oh yeah the piece of westphalia happened in this uh this game save it's very nice or in this campaign i should say fucking got discovered whoops uh I'll lose the money thank you very much i wonder if i should become a uh administrative monarchy a constitutional monarchy be very nice the years of uh, separatism will go down the yearly autonomy is larger but we do lose that minus one to national unrest which kind of sucks and our national unrest is at negative two which kind of sucks but uh, it's nothing you can really do about that religious unity is at 81 which is also not the best okay let me see who else I can improve relations with both monis um, let's do that oh wow Ming is all up in India already his rivals are Gujarat and Bokmanis has him as a uh, rival which should help if I do go to war with Ming should help should help a lot of this stuff up north is never mind i thought a lot of this was mountains this is desert this is mountains but this is desert damn that has some defensive terrain to take not at all gain the core nice all my stuff are core now i just have to deal with some revolts at some point in time i'm probably gonna beat up on uzbek again when 1719 comes around okay oh my gosh my voice sounds very shaky i do apologize fabricate a claim on you so if i do go to war with uh what this is Maltan? Maltan? Maltan. close enough i can uh take Maltan's land and your land <laughs> okay hmm Just like just like clicking on my armies so large i should start to make 40 stats but out here the um oh never mind the force limit is not that bad it's not that bad um do want missionary strength prestige missionary strength please thank you um converted something very nice let's convert another thing also this yeah, up north is not there's not a lot of supply limits that are 40 but i'm not going to be up here much longer for the most part i'm going to start to go to work with uzbeks and then this guy and then i don't have to worry about up north anymore for the most part for the most part for the most part um this is a rebellion and of course they're like fucking miles away holy shit any generals you need a general okay good you're gonna get there way too late so that's gonna siege did you get years of separatism please tell me they get years of separatism okay wait 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 fuck i wanted to give him my general too late we can get tech but we are a year ahead so i'm not gonna do that actually you have to stay and siege that please Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What else has to? What else wants to rebel? These guys. Those guys. I guess if I could just increase autonomy so that they can uh, just stop annoying me. I'd rather just give them autonomy, to be honest. Uh, there you go. Most of the stuff on this list, except this one, should start to take down that province. Is, where is it? This one. And I can't increase autonomy anymore because 
I already increased it I think probably is the reasoning why I can't increase it anymore which makes sense uh materialism gets me so which is fine I should start to delete some of these forts like I have way 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 too many forts like 90 like I have 57 forts 90 ducats are going to forts which is kind of ridiculous um, especially these forts that are next to each other makes no sense like this fort makes sense that fort makes sense because it covers that area that fort kind of makes sense uh, so many forts next to each other uh, I don't need this one really this I'm just Okay, I'm just gonna keep them, I can't be arsed. <sighs> but of course, it's a, just a gigantic waste of money. Like, a ridiculous waste of money. Okay, you need a royal marriage, your 15 year old, your 18 year old's on the throne, and you have a 11 year old heir. Let's get that royal marriage. Okay, nice. What's happening in Austria? 27 year old guy, 18 year old guy nothing I could take advantage of there okay that sounds very weird and dirty I didn't mean it in that way I meant so I can take over his throne anyway let's move on uh, new trade is a heresy lose 10 prestige really don't uh, care about prestige just don't want to lose the other uh, thing that I was gonna lose uh, you're at war with Milan okay very interesting, very interesting, and I can finally get tech. Nice, which means I can upgrade my cannons. Nice, I converted a province too, so I can convert another one. Very nice, and I can uh, really I need my inflation to start to take down, so that will be very nice. Very, very nice. We can get this tech in 1717, August of 1717 to be exact. So that's probably when we're going to go to war. Most likely. Okay. We are not getting any money. I really need to... Miss. I mean, I may as well have the game run while I have to wait. And figure out some of these forts. Okay, what's happening? get that attack nice okay okay so for the border let's, let's figure out the border here okay this these are both fort level threes okay this fort protects here mm, ah, fuck. <laughs> Can't be honest. okay so this fort can stay because it protects here here and there this fort can stay because it protects here here and here which is nice. I'm gonna keep this fort. It protects here and there. I can get rid of this one. Okay. This fort protects here, 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 and here. Which is good. This is not that highly developed, so I don't mind if they siege it. This fort has really good reach. That should be it for that border with them. So I can delete this for it. Okay. So this fort. Wait, let me delete this one because this one is not needed either. On pause, please. Okay. This fort will have this surroundings and this one. This is fort level one. That's for low fort level one. Don't need this fort. Don't need this fort. Because this fort is just going to protect these three. And you can't move further if their army is going to come this way. Tempted to keep this fort, so I'm going to keep it. This fort is not necessary. So this fort is going to cover that area. Whoops, pause. We can get an idea, but I'm going to get tech. Scandinavia needs to help in the Ludenberg Imperial War against blah blah blah. This is a war they have started. Um, 
I'll accept. Okay. I am not gonna help at all, but I'm here in spirit. Actually, let me go siege down some stuff. Let me go siege that down for ya. Oh, mm, mains, mains, mains is involved. Uh, okay. So, this. Let me see. Okay. So, you have a zone of control over here. I'm sorry that I'm doing a lot of boring stuff, but uh, it's, it's necessary. Okay. I need this spot, and I'm worried about if they're land troops too, so. I'm of course, treating this as like an area they're able to invade by. So. This fort can take care of that. So, you're good. You will have zone of control. From here, 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 here. So this part is not necessary. You have zone of control to there. This fort has zone of control, or rather, this fort because it has zone of control to everywhere around it. So you are the deleted. Okay, from here to you have zone of control here. This fort is necessary necessary I always want to form that capital okay let me unpause because I'm just talking about forts and I want the game to run a bit so let's recall that guy let's improve relations with like France Great Britain right okay I'm gonna just focus on getting this sieged nice you move there and then there you move there Okay, he's already entered. Oh, I can. Fuck. Should have fabricated the claim. Should bring my troops up north. Oh, he already pieced the orange buck. You, what fort level is this three here? You can come back over here. Let me give you my general. This army should be good enough to siege that. Okay, good. Okay, from here, right, this has a zone of control on everything around it, and it makes my border here safe. I'm gonna keep this fort, because I would have to build it over. The zone of a control here to there, everything down. This fort covers everything around it, which is good. I don't need this fort. Because, oh, wait, uh, nope, we're good. Because this has zone of control there, this has zone of control there, to there. Okay. These forts next to each other is kind of ridiculous. Don't need this one. Okay. Good. For the border, these two there, that's good. If I want forts inside of my country I'm gonna make sure there's not like one next to each other and I'm really gonna be less lenient on these ones I'm not gonna pay attention to the zone of control as much if zone of control there to the, the here 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 you have zone of control around that so this for it's not needed zone of control here covering everything you're these three forts are just not fucking necessary, so I'm gonna get rid of the one in the middle. Um, I am gonna get rid of just the lower fort level one. I'm just now I'm just going through because now I'm getting more towards the east where it doesn't matter. These countries are weaker and could take them on very easily. So I'm just gonna get rid of forts that are next to each other in ridiculous uh, ways. Okay, that is good, that is good. Okay, these two forts next to each other is kind of ridiculous. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Reason being, you have zone of control to there, to there. This one has zone of control around it, so it's good. Okay, I'm happy with my fort situation now. I should be making a bit more money. Yes, I got rid of like, what is 57? I got rid of 15 that were unnecessary. I probably could get rid of more, but I'm not going to. But, um, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of Europa Universalis for Common Sense Polish Union. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next episode.